U.S. government who thought that it was important to get him extradited uh, from Colombia here must have just absolutely grabbed their head and wanted to rip their hair out when Carlos raised his hand in jail and said, oh, Manuel Noriega, I can testify against him. I've got some good stories, as a matter of fact. Noriega had been on the U.S. government payroll for decades, but the dictator had overstepped his bounds when he began harboring drug dealers. Carlos later, once public enemy number one, became a pawn in a bigger game. But he testified against Noriega. They cut his sentence down to 55 years, which is stunning for what he did. The trail of bodies, the amount of drugs and everything else. And then three years after that, they come in at night once to Carlos's jail and they take him out. According to prisoners who were there, federal authorities came in and just whisked him away. And that's the last we heard of later. He's in some part of the witness protection program inside the Bureau of Prisons. If they, in fact, did put him in witness protection, uh, we wouldn't know. The significance of this is it makes <laughs> later sort of an urban legend because there's no official word. The U.S. government won't say where he is. So he's a complete mystery, and he's still a legend. There are rumors that he's out of the system, but I know this. Carlos caught a hell of a break.